Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Wind Tamer in Black Myth Wukong. I have had a few people coming into stream asking me how to beat the Yellow Wind Sage. And with this, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how to get it in today's video. So the first thing you want to do, you want to travel over to the Yellow Wind Ridge. And you also want to come to the Squall Hideout right here. The item that we're going for is the Sobering Stone. I will say that there are more ways of getting this stone. But I'm just going to show you the way that I find the easiest. Because it's only a little side quest. And you need to do it anyway if you want to get that 100% completion. So we're just going to keep making our way down this pathway right here. Not too far from the Shrine this side. And when we get to the other side, we're going to see this guy there. And he's going to give us a little side quest to do. I've already done it. I might try and find some footage to put over this video. But I've already done it. So I, don't, I can't remember what, exactly what the dialogue says. But he's going to give you some form of quest to go and do. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. What you can do straight away is though, is just use your incense trail talisman. Just to get back to the shrine. Unless you haven't found the locations yet. If you found every location in this place, then you can do this. If not, you're going to have to keep progressing through the game until you find these locations. So now we're back at the shrine. We're going to travel to the next location, which is called Rock Rest Flat. So if you haven't found this location, just keep progressing in the game until you have. Right, so now we're here at Rock Rest Flat. What you want to do is turn away from the shrine and just run into the cave right here. One thing you can do along the way is come and pick this up right here because we're going to need these... These are Jade Lotuses. We need this for later on in this like side quest. So pick them up first. And then you want to run up, run up the side here. And this is where we're going to go and find the boss. Again, I've done it. I'll try and find some videos to put in. It's going to be a, There's going to be a lot of that in this video. So run up here. Right the way to the top. And once you can't go no further. You'll see the boss sitting right here. It's a pretty easy boss as well. So once you've beaten this boss, just head back to that guy we were speaking to before. Once you get back to this guy, you're going to have to fight him again. He's quite easy. So once you beat him, you'll be able to buy stuff off him then. So once you beat him, you come and speak to him and you can see the purchase option right here. We want to buy the Sober and Stone off him. As I say, you can find it in other places. So if you've already got one, then you don't have to do this section at all. Once you got the Sober and Stone, you want to head back to Rock Rest Flats and we'll go from there. Now that we're back at Rock Rest Flats, we're going to head over this way. If you just follow the exact way I'm going, you can't get lost. It's literally a straight line. There is one guy there that you can fight. Also, that guy comes out the floor, but you can fight him if you really want to. Or you can just run past him. We're going to run past him here. And then we're going to go over here. You can't smash your way through them, but just looks cool to jump over, I think. And then you're going to head over here and you're going to see this, like, boar-looking guy. You're going to give him that Sobering Stone. And then after that, you want to head to the Tiger's Temple where he's going to ask you for some Jade Lotus, which we already have before. So yeah, here we go. Crouching Tiger Temple and we're going to go to the Temple Entrance this time. Once here from the Shrine, you want to come up here. Up these stairs. And then you should see him over here in this area and you want to give him the jade lotus and then after that he's going to give you a coin in return i think it is and then what you want to do you want to head back to where you first seen him so once you've made it back here you're going to realize that this guy wants to fight now and that doorway behind him he's going to invite you through once you beat him he is very easy but from here as well it's literally boss fights so you beat this guy and then you're going to go in and then you're going to fight another tiger who's all right he can be quite difficult if you're not prepared and then you got the final boss which is fairly easy i beat him first go the final boss is like this big giant bug but you have got help as well it is fairly easy but once you've done all these you will be awarded the wind tamer and that is literally how to get it and this will help you big time with the wind sage so yeah let me know if this helped you out in any way shape or form and don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more black mifu kong videos take it easy peace